when the wheel was invented more than 5,000 years ago. Sustainable mobility wasn't really a hot topic, but today we've got a lot of wheels. In fact, we've got more than a billion vehicles on the road worldwide. It's not only moving yourself back and forth to work, but everything you buy or eat was transported to you somehow. But what is the balance between the function of transportation and its impact on the world? To keep it all going, sustainable mobility has become a real question. So how do you measure sustainable mobility? A sustainable vegetable garden in your backyard seems a little easier to equate. You only eat as many carrots as your garden can keep producing. But mobility is a little trickier. A thriving economy needs transportation, so there's obviously the bottom line. But now, folks are looking at a thing called the triple bottom line. You take the economic bottom line and add the environmental bottom line and a social bottom line. What's the environmental bottom line of tires, for example? Well, it's a little bit surprising. You might think that the biggest environmental impact is here, when a tire is at the end of its life. But as more and more tires are recycled, the end of its life can have a more positive effect. And some tires today last more than twice as long as tires made in the 1970s, so they don't meet their end quite so quickly. How about the impact of manufacturing? Well, that process is getting greener too, with new research and input from government agencies and dedicated customers. It turns out the biggest environmental impact is here, while the tire is actually on the road, while the vehicle is burning fuel. As much as 20% of the fuel that you burn is just overcoming the tire's rolling resistance. If your tires have too much rolling resistance, then you're burning too much fuel and putting more carbon into the atmosphere. Today, the differences in rolling resistance between tires is enough for car manufacturers to pay close attention to which tires they test with when they tell you how many miles per gallon a car gets. In fact, according to tests conducted by Michelin, tires with low rolling resistance can save hundreds of dollars over the life of your tires. Keep in mind that a tire does need some rolling resistance to grip the road and keep you safe. And tire safety is just one part of that third bottom line, the social bottom line which also includes the way a company interacts with its employees, stakeholders, and customers. So here's a few things you can do to help your own triple bottom line. Check your air pressure in your tires. The wrong tire pressure can make you burn more fuel. Think about how you recycle your tires. Maybe they could become playground equipment. And if you're shopping for tires, ask about fuel efficient tires. It makes more difference than you think. The wheel has been around for thousands of years, and it's hard to improve on something so fundamental. But with so many wheels on the road today, sustainable mobility will be the way forward. <laughs>